Hello friends, let's learn to build mobile applications with Ruby on Rails. So if you go to the hotfire.dev website and scroll down to uh, learn more about Turbo, go to the handbook, uh, open uh, chapter 6, go native on iOS and Android, you will see this term Turbo Native. Basically, it is a tool that lets you wrap your Ruby on Rails web application into a native iOS or Android wrapper and serve it as a real application. So basically, Turbo Native is two main libraries, Turbo Native iOS and Turbo Native Android. You can see them in uh, GitHub. Turbo Native iOS is written in Swift and Turbo Native Android is written in Kotlin. In this episode, we are going to focus on uh, the iOS. So here we have this uh, repository. It's basically a library to create the uh, iOS applications that uh, uh, can serve your Ruby on Rails web application. And uh, you need to have uh, Hotwire, you need to have Turbo Drive enabled uh, in your application to make it work, in your Ruby on Rails application. So how do we start with uh, Turbo Native? We have this uh, repository and we have a demo application here. So you would want to run this demo application uh, locally and see how it works. Now, to make it work, you would first of all need to clone this hotfire slash turbo iOS repository locally. This I have already done. I have it locally. And you would need to install Xcode. So this is a, a program to build the iOS applications. So now pause the video, install Xcode. Okay, now I assume you have already installed Xcode. Let's continue. So uh, I'm inside this Turbo iOS repository, and here I see this demo folder. I will uh, go to the demo folder, and I will type open, and I'm going to open demo.xcode project. So open is by default going to try to open something in Xcode, and uh, we need to open the .xcode project file. I click OK. It is uh, launching Xcode. And uh, here we have this uh, application. Here is the file structure. Uh, we have this demo file. And we see that the URL uh, to the web application that is, is going to try to serve is this one. Uh, let's try opening this URL. Okay, I've got an H before HTTPS. Okay, so this is just a, a web app that is optimized to be used uh, with Turbo Native. And, uh, well, it works just as any regular web app uh, on the web, but uh, on the Turbo Native, it will have some special behaviors. So here, for example, you have uh, a menu. You click the menu, it opens as a dialogue. Uh, you have the form. It's just a regular form that you can submit and uh, redirect somewhere. But we're going to try to run this uh, web app, this URL, uh, inside this uh, iOS Turbo Native app. You see, we also have this Turbo iOS uh, package installed. We have uh, a lot of code written to uh, make uh, this uh, Turbo iOS package work uh, as an iOS app. So we have, uh, like this, I would say, the main file. It has uh, uh, Turbo imported. So it is Turbo iOS. It has Strata imported. It is this one. So let's try running this application. I'm going to uh, click on this run button or you can type command R and it's going to try to run this application. It is opening an emulator and you see the emulator here is set to iPhone 15 Pro, but you can try setting any other supported device. So anyway, it is launching uh, the application. For the first time, it can take quite uh, a while to launch. Here it's going to appear. Okay, and here the application is uh, running. So basically, we are just uh, serving this URL uh, inside our uh, Turbo Native iOS application. We can try navigating. Let's try some different behavior. So advance to another page, and you see this uh, navigation has been stacked. So I click once and twice to go back to the home screen. If I have the Turbo Visit replace, so that screen just gets replaced with uh, this one. So I would still need to click not twice, but once to get back to the home screen. Uh, hidden an error. This looks more or less like a native error page. Uh, open a slow loading page. You see we have this uh, native uh, loading indicator. 
trying to load a web page modally, you see it's uh, like a pop-up. We can go up and down. We can click down to cancel or click uh, submit to have a redirect. The page should be after the submission. We can try following an external link and by default it is going to open the native browser, but we can figure it, uh, we can configure it so that it opens an in-app browser. That's actually quite easy. Uh, we can uh, see how Strata works. This is actually interesting. So here we have a form and you see we don't have the submit button on the bottom. Here, for example, in the uh, web app, we have uh, type in first name, last name and a submit button on the bottom. Here, using Strata, we hide the submit button in the bottom and instead display the submit button here on top. So this way, the user has more of a feeling that he's using a native application, but not just a web application uh, in his uh, browser. Then for uh, modal example, so uh, let me go back in the web app here in the menu, I click open and it opens uh, just an HTML dialogue with a few different options. And here I click open menu and you see it opens uh, the native iOS uh, menu element and I can submit it. Let's then have a look at the final Strata example, overflow plus menu. Here again, it opens just uh, the dialogue, but uh, here it would, you see it doesn't show the uh, button on the bottom. Instead, it shows these three dots uh, on the top right. You click and it opens uh, the options. So this could be nice if you have like a record in the Ruby on Rails application, like you have a post, you would click it, you would be able to see the edit or delete uh, or cancel buttons. This uh, looks neat. And this uh, basically Strata, can make your application feel more native. So you don't really need Strata to build uh, native applications. You need Turbo Native, but Strata is just a cherry on the top of Turbo Native to uh, add additional uh, uh, behaviors to your application that uh, would uh, look different on uh, the web and on uh, mobile. So, okay, we've tried running this uh, Turbo Native demo application. Let's try running uh, a different URL with the same uh, uh, Turbo Native uh, app. We can try running superrails.com. So here I have uh, superrails.com. It uh, looks quite uh, responsive. Let's try running this uh, URL. I will just change it to superrails.com. I will uh, run once again to replace everything. So it's, it is relaunching the application. Okay, and here we basically have the application running. Now you see it is uh, not really optimized. Uh, we have the content going uh, above the nav bar, so this could be improved. Then uh, the navigation, you see it gets stacked, so that's interesting. Then the log in the socials buttons uh, don't work out of the box. So there's quite some work that would need to be done. But basically you can try to serve uh, any web URL with uh, this uh, uh, demo application. Okay, so we have uh, had a look at the demo application. Now let's try uh, serving the initial URL uh, with a new uh, Turbo Native application. So let's try creating a Turbo Native application from uh, zero. And to do this, you would want to go to the Turbo iOS uh, docs. And here we have a quick start guide. So uh, let's create a new Turbo Native application. I'm going to go to file. Yeah, let me actually stop this one. Yeah, it's not running. I go to file, new, new project, app, uh, the name will be uh, whatever, I know, uh, Super Rails 2. Organization identifier would be the reverse of your domain name. Uh, language Swift, don't change anything else. Everything here is kind of by default. And I will store it uh, yeah, in my iOS folder. So here I have a new application a new iOS application. Let me try 
running this application and see what it looks like. You see, unlike the uh, demo application, there are just a couple of files and they are all more or less uh, empty. So here I have this app running and actually it's just a blank sheet at the moment. So let's try installing a Turbo Native. So here we have this quick start guide and I have this scene delegate file. I'm going to copy all this content and uh, I'm going to replace all the content in the scene delegate with this new content. Save. And uh, you see we have this no such module Turbo. So we need to install Turbo iOS library. To do this, I click on the project. And then here again, I click on the project, package dependencies, add a new dependency. Now I already have it uh, in recently used dependencies, but if you don't yet, then you will need to uh, put in the whole URL. So uh, here, search and the package URL, you put in the URL. By default, we're going to use the main branch add package and uh, it is uh, downloaded and it's stolen turbo ensure that the target is set not to none but to this project that you have just created add package now we can go back to scene delegate and uh, you see the error has disappeared now let's try running the project once uh, again and you see in the scene delegate uh, by default in this uh, uh, quick start guide we have the URL set to this uh, demo application that we were playing around. So let's see what uh, the demo application, how it's going to render. Here it has already relaunched with just this scene delegate and turbo installed. Let's try navigation. So navigation works well. Let's try uh, uh, hidden an error. And you see it's just a blank screen because it hasn't been configured in our application. We would need to possibly configure it manually, loading a web page modally. Uh, you see it hasn't been loaded modally. So this is the basic code you need to just to render a web application in a Turbo Native wrapper. But uh, a lot of behaviors are not configured uh, yet. Again, Strata is not configured yet. It's just uh, web navigation. So we would need to configure a lot of behaviors uh, on our own. Uh, luckily, there is a pull request uh, that is going to help us a lot. At the moment, uh, if you go to the Turbo iOS uh, repository and uh, go to the pull requests, you have this update upstream Turbo Navigator branch by Joe Mazzalotti. So initially, he created a Turbo Navigator package that could be installed uh, as a separate dependency in your application, but uh, hopefully soon it's going to be merged into Turbo iOS itself and uh, creating new Turbo native applications is going to be easier. But for now, I think uh, if you're building a new Turbo native application uh, using this branch instead of uh, uh, the main branch is the best approach. So. Uh, we're going to use this branch for our application. I'm going to copy the name of the branch and I'm going to go to the application. We have this package dependencies and instead of up to next major version, I'm going to uh, say branch and I'm going to put in this name of the branch. I clicked enter. It should uh, reload now and uh, I'm going to replace the code in scene delegate. Uh, I'm going to replace this getting started code with the one from this upstream turbo navigator. So uh, here we have this quick start guide. I'm going to open it. And uh, I need just this uh, code. So I replace all this code with this code. Again, we have the URL to the demo application. Let's relaunch the application. It's relaunching with this specific Turbo Navigator branch and with this uh, getting started code. And uh, let's try some uh, behavior. So load a web page modally uh, doesn't work yet. Uh, try hidden an HTTP error. You see this uh, works out of the box. Uh, slow loading the web page works out of the box. So some behaviors are going to be 
uh, available out of the box that were not available previously. Now, uh, talking about loading web pages modally, talking about Strata, we're going to do it in the next episodes, but this is the basic way you would be setting up a new Turbo Native application uh, uh, today. I think this must be the more or less best approach. Uh, use the Turbo Navigator branch and use the get getting started guide from this specific branch and you have a good starter application for building your own turbo native application thanks for watching and see you in the next one